Well, Ben, there's no doubt that Mr Brightside has been a career-changing horse for the Hayes brothers at Lindsay Park. Tell me a little bit about what you thought of the unassuming Kiwi bred when he wandered into your stable for the first time. Well, as a horse, uh, you could easily just see him go through. He's just a really nice, well-put-together horse, a bit lazy at home, and um, we liked him. We thought he was quite a good horse, but... Uh, to get to where he has now, uh, if you asked us back then, we wouldn't have said uh, that for sure. We would have laughed. And now Mr Brightside is sprouting wings. Here he comes, Mr Brightside over the top. He got up, he got up, Mr Brightside. Mr Brightside lifting and goes back to back. Mr Brightside held on from my over on New Winland on Caster again. But it's Mr Brightside clear and he's going to rack up another one. Where he is now is a winner of 16 races. He's won six group ones, an all-star mile, finished second in a Cox Plate and has over 13 million in the bank in prize money. What has that meant to you guys? Uh, he's probably been the most important horse to us. Uh, he came at the right time. Uh, we just started our partnership and um, he was probably our headline horse. Will, JD and I and the whole team at Lindsay Park is just a star and he's got character um, and he's a special horse to the whole of Lindsay Park. Uh, but as he's got older, he's mentally matured. Uh, he's a very quiet horse now, even at the races, he's just relaxed and um, he's just gotten better and better and better. And um, He loves a scratch. As soon as you walk into the box, all he does is point his bum at you for a bum scratch. So, uh, no, we're, we're very happy with him, Jane. Found a spot? Yeah. Yeah, I scratch you, you scratch me. Yeah. Don't eat me. There's always pressure, but this is probably, he's not the expected horse to win, uh, which is nice. Pride of Jenny at the 100, Cascadian wearing her down. Pride of Jenny at the 50, Cascadian's got up to her. Cascadian back to back. Cascadian just beats Pride of Jenny in a brilliant finish. Third a photo, found a clear or a tissue, then Mr Brightside. Ben, you've now encountered Pride of Jenny on a couple of occasions. Do you, as a team, feel like you're starting to work out how that you can beat her and what sort of tactics you need to adopt? I think it's 2-1 currently, and uh, she's obviously, with her Voro tactics, she really puts pressure into it, and we tried to be that bit closer in the Australian Cup, and uh, it didn't work. He still ran well, uh, but there were a couple reasons why we thought I uh, didn't run to his best and that was us riding him a bit closer. Uh, so we're going to change a couple of things going into the race. We've applied a tongue tie, got to look to ride him more quiet. We have drawn wide so it really makes that decision easy. And I think a key to me is having a little bit give in the track. So hopefully we can see him show his asset which is his turn of foot. So looking forward to seeing how he goes and he's a good horse and the stable has full confidence in him.